you're on the surface of a boat looking out at the water, mainly what you see is beautiful blue pristine water. But it's not until we pull up our, our trawls that we see what's really there, these finely broken down particles of plastic with the occasional recognizable item, a toothbrush or a lighter or a bottle cap. That's Anna Cummins, co-founder of the Five Gyres Project, talking about her group's recent discovery. I think we found the Atlantic garbage patch. They found it in the North Atlantic Gyre, a huge area of swirling ocean currents that pick up all sorts of flotsam, ocean debris, and unfortunately, are trash. But just like the so-called Great Pacific Garbage Patch, it doesn't actually look like a floating landfill in the middle of the ocean. And it would be much better if there was an island out there. Strange to say, but A, it would help people you know, visualize it, and B, we could go out and get it. And I think there's, there's been this media misconception of a Texas-sized patch of garbage, and I think that's given people a false idea of what it really is. It's more like a thin plastic soup. Cummins and her colleagues started this project to visit all five major ocean gyres. They just returned from the ones in the Indian Ocean and the North Atlantic. We have a manta trawl that we use to skim the top 20 centimeters of the ocean surface. We collected 35 surface samples across the Sargasso Sea, and uh, we found plastic in every single one. Entwined in the thick mats of sargassum algae that the sea's named after, the pieces of plastic they found were mostly confetti-sized particles broken down by sunlight and waves. You might see um, you know, one fragment here, a couple minutes later see a bottle cap. Um, mostly you don't see it. But fish and other marine life do, and they're mistaking the plankton-sized plastic for food. And we've had a chance to look into the stomachs of some different fish species. Uh, one called a lanternfish, which is a very common fish in the open ocean. It's food for tuna and mahi-mahi and other fish that we eat. And we found that a lot of them had plastic in their stomachs. With most of the trash so tiny, cleaning it up is likely impossible. For Cummins, fixing the problem means looking forward. We've taken petroleum plastics, which are designed to last, literally last forever, and we make cups and bags and bottles and utensils and toys and all kinds of things that are ultimately designed to be thrown away. So that really needs to shift, that we need to start producing plastics that are fully recyclable. She also advocates for passing legislation that makes companies responsible for the end life of their products and getting consumers to think about their own impact. In November, the research team will be sailing from Brazil to South Africa, cutting right through the South Atlantic gyre. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.